Before we get started, man, notice the retwist and make sure you go over and check out Breeze Tees. The link will be down in the description. Here you can see all the types of shirts that we got, man. Mainly somebody was asking about the Lockdown University shirts, hoodies, and all of the stuff like that. We have those up. We got them starting at $9.99. You got the hoodies. You got the tees. The prices change dynamically uh, depending on what you choose and what you got. We got tees, tanks everything man uh we got sizes all the way up to 3x if you wear 4x don't even worry about it all you got to do is holler at me in a dm or something like that and we will make sure that we get it to you so make sure you do that that's number one uh i'm thinking about doing a contest with the lockdown university like i'm thinking about doing it like this we're gonna do 100 shirts and once we sell 100 shirts we might give away the console or something like that man y'all let me know if y'all think that's a good idea right there but also for no purchase necessary contest this is what I need y'all to do. Make sure y'all like the video. Comment LDU at the end of your comment down there. That's gonna enter you to do two things. Number one, every single week, we give away $50 in either Cash App or VC, or I'm gonna buy you 2K the extra edition and uh that's number one number two if we can continue to average over 10k views on the videos this month which we are trying to do y'all need to go back and watch some of them old videos man but if we can do that we're giving away a next gen console it's either gonna be an xbox or it's gonna be a ps5 man the console of your choice so make sure y'all busy yourself in the comment section all you gotta do like the video comment on the video ldu at the end of your comment and without further ado let's just get this underway man look this is one of those games that was a comp game, man. And I want to go through this, and we're going to try to see how this works out with us going through the game, talking our way through the game. At key points, we're going to we're gonna talk about what's going on on screen, but at the same time, we are going to break down what's happening. Now, these guys ain't no slouches. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I mean, the dude's name, first of all, the first thing that makes it a comp game is what you got to do is look at the names. I mean, the dude's name is I'm Greeny. Don't wake me. I'm greedy. Hey, y'all don't know nothing about that, man. Y'all let me know. I never, let I me. Mean, hey, you know what I'm talking about? The light-skinned brother from the bank, man. Anyway, check it out. So, I'm greening is no slouch. His squad, no slouch. They all got comp names. Uh, Broke'em, Broke'em, uh, Bronk'em, Noah, and uh, the other dude. Comp names right out the bat. He got the comp outfit on, everything. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what we like to do on offense, which is not a whole lot other than brute, just analyzing the floor, seeing what he got and then just going and getting on the rim. Like Gambit, he's just gonna clear right there. It ain't a whole lot to it. Quick rim run. Now, you might think that it's just a quick rim run, but this is something that Brood is looking at. This is in the back of his mind. I don't know if y'all saw this, and you probably didn't, but look, we gonna freeze this right here. You, All you saw was Brute go and get on the rim, and you're probably thinking, well, what could he have done? He probably could have kicked it out to Gambit over here. Let me show y'all, let me tell y'all what my dog was doing, man. You see, I want y'all to put y'all eyes on this fellow right here look at what he's doing the entire time look he's moving left to right moving left to right this is something that you guys just just take note of that we gonna come back to that but the main thing that we like to do on here is lockdown university is defense right out the bat you're gonna see what we like to do like we like to test people and see what they see what they want to do this is something that we always talk about we want to put them in the box right so right here sideline is your best friend we got gambit right here cutting this off because this dude is lacking up the court. And what this is going to allow me to do, this is going to allow me to get into a position where this fellow can't go but one way. And our goal here is to make him use up at least one adrenaline bar right here. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna keep on going. Gambit meets him, Gambit falls off to his guy. And look, now he's dancing, dancing, dancing. I, I should have tried, now what I should have tried to do is uh, like I said, we always, we always tell y'all this right here. But we already seen these guys before. We played them the game before. We beat them the game before. Uh, but, you know, they had a bite out there. So, you know, it, it was what it was. It wasn't our fault that one of their dudes got up out of there. But he got up out of there. This is my spot. This is all Gambit over here. This is all Brutus and him over here. Same same thing right here. Now, he's going to go. But we don't know if this guy's a passer or not just yet. So, boom, he gets by me. Goes on to the rim. It's it's just as important to know which, what happened on the plays where people score as people as when people don't score now check it out you see him still moving back and forth brute goes straight down broadway gets on the rim but this dude still hadn't learned his lesson he does not understand that he's getting away with this back and forth motion right here like i said he's in the little box 
You, you see him, he's moving. Look, the whole way up and down the court, he's moving back and forth. He probably think this dude don't even pass. He don't, all he want to do is rim run. He doesn't know that, that the dude, Brutus Sim, they don't call him the guru for nothing. He's got every movement on the court in his head right there. Right here on defense, yet again, we gonna, we just going to show y'all real quick, man. Right on defense again, this is my spot. This is Brutus' area. Gambit's area is right here. My goal, my goal right here is to try to funnel him I, I really want to maintain this inside leverage right here. I don't want to let him get to the middle. I really want him, anytime he drives, I want him going to either either Gambit or I want him to go through this lane where Brute is. Right here on this one, he gets there. He realizes that Gambit, he realizes that Gambit is going to step down, but he can still get to his guy. So he knows he got nothing here. I'm standing here. He's got nothing. I want to try to get back here to try to keep the force him back up there, but we're going to see what happens. I lost, I lost outside contain. So that meant that Gambit had to come down. I don't know why they didn't give us that steal. Dude jumps, he goes up, they get a bucket. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You're going to give up buckets in these games. Yet again, here we go, come down. Brute don't do nothing. This dude still ain't learned his lesson. He's, he's just dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Pull a three, trains up, splash down. Now it's seven to four. Now we really big chilling because right now we can give up all the tools in the world and we don't have to do anything. And this is when we really start playing defense. Most people, once they get up, they, they take their foot off the gas. We put our foot on your neck. We try to we try to win this thing, man. Yet again, right here, I'm maintaining inside leverage. Brutus Sim on the scene, wicked and mean. He's right here playing a little double edge area. This guy's out of the play. He's out of the play right here. Bam, let's see what happens. Look, he wants to dribble through that. Now they're going to try to screen and roll. He saw he hadn't been like we up three. They need a three. Right here, they're going to play screen and roll. What, we, what you're going to see right here is this. I get hit by the screen. I commit a cardinal sin. I'm not going to lie to y'all. What we, what we really want to do on the screen and roll is this. I want to maintain this outside leverage on this. Gambit's got me inside. And then when he sets the screen, if I get hit by it, then what Gambit is going to do, uh, I shouldn't even get hit by it. This is all. This is 100% my fault. I'm supposed to be here, right? And then Gambit's gonna be here and he'll take that fellow if he gets here. I can try to get through it sometime, but Gambit got enough foot speed to stay with most people. So what happens here, I get hit, but then not only do I get hit, but I compound it by reaching because I think he's gonna shoot that gap. He doesn't, but I'm able to get back over, get a great contest. I got a hand jump shot contest on twice anyway, so we good. Now, the dude is still not paying attention. He went straight to Brute. I don't know why he fouled him. I guess he just wanted to stop to play that bad, man. It is what it is, so it's all good. So. Now, starting to play back up. Like I said, I did everything wrong on that play. Got bailed out because I got an enhanced shot contest on. We normally play sides on that screen. We didn't right there. It, that's, that's my fault because I wasn't paying attention. I was lacking. Here we go yet again. Brutal Sim, look back and forth. He tried to doubt him. I commit another Cardinal Sim, but it works out in our favor. Bro, this is something that you never want to do. You don't ever want to do this. But what you don't know is Brute went here. He really tried to pass this ball to Gambit. They are, these guys are gonna bite down. They're gonna bite down because at this point in time, Brute drives. He's tired of seeing Brute ascend this ladder, this imaginary ladder, and get on this rim. You see this right here? This, this imaginary uh, set of stairs right here? This dude right here is sick of it. He said, I'm not gonna have any more of it. So what he does is he comes down. Brute tried to pass the Gambit, but this is like one of the first couple of days of the game. Everybody in the had a sentence right. It didn't work. Now, let me show you what I see right here. This guy is up in the air. He can't hurt me. This guy got to go back with Brute. So, even though this is the dumbest thing in the world to do, I'm free to make this pass because I know they can't do anything about it. So, what I do, I go ahead and make the pass. Wait, hey, look. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. If, I'm going to go back and turn up the volume. You're going to hear what it said when I do this. Steam out! Y'all see that? Trays up! Splash down! Look, there we go. We get a good bucket, and uh, and we back on top. Now, we re like I said, we really big chilling this 10-4. They're going to try to do the screen and roll yet again because they're trying to get they're trying to get, um, they're trying trying to to get get um some threes up. Again, like I said, I didn't play. I'm not playing the best defense here on this. Right here, I'm supposed to take this outside area, not let him get here. Gambit is going to take this, and we want Gambit in this area because... He's got all the help in the world from Brute over here if they switch on to him and then I'll stay there. But what I do, I try to get through. Gambit hedges for me. Now, we, we already talked about this. Gambit said, you know, I'm a hedge. 
I'm just gonna hedge and you get back. That's what we're trying to do right now, hedge and get back. So I hedge and get back right here. What I still wanna do is I wanna keep him in this area. I don't wanna let him get back here. I wanna force him to stay in between me and the sideline and then Brute in Brute's area right here. And then that way, if he tries to go around, I can cut him off. I'm not gonna have any help from Gambit that out of the play. Boom. I get, I got him right there. He knows he can't do anything. He's out of adrenaline. Dude tries to do, do, do Gambit. He tried to pass it back. They gave me, literally blessed me with one of the best off-ball pest animations ever. Look at that. Look at that, fighting, fighting. Give me the rock. I got the rock. Go down, I realize. Look, 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 look at me, man. Look, I get the rock. Boom, realize, you take one step. Yep, I ain't got no dribbling. Get the ball out of my hand, get it to Gambit. We get it to somebody that can dribble. He kicks it to me, yet again. Steam, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go right, look like. Look, right here, bam. Let me show y'all what I'm seeing. This dude, my guy, is running away from me. He's only seen Gambit shoot to this point. So my guy's running away from me. This guy's out of the play, he's no threat. And this fella right here, he just jumped. He's no threat. So what that means is I can steam this joint across the court to Brute. It's not a great, it's, it, it ain't the best thing, but I got Needle Threader and I got High Passes, so I can do it. Steamer! He gets it, trays up! Green Bean, Money Team, splash down. I had to take that, cause I said, man, that, that thing, that's a, that's a ticky-tacky. What I wanted to do when I said it was a TikTok, man, I, I just wanted to uh, do the, do the, uh, so the off-ball pass actually worked pretty well right here. Uh, on this right here, I'm, like I said, I straight blue coverage on this one. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Now, what was supposed to happen is, we played it perfectly the entire possession, and then at the end, I blow coverage. Look, he goes here, we got him in the kill, we got him in our, we got him in the squeeze box, I ain't gonna call him the kill, but we got him in the squeeze box right here. He can't go anywhere. Gambit's got his guy, and I'll be, I'll be dead if he gonna shoot through there. So he's not gonna get through that, he can't do anything, boom. We got him, he has to pass the ball, makes the pass, Gambit is down low. I run around, he tries to get me with the screen. Right now, I don't know if y'all noticed, but you see how slow he was running or whatever? He's already used up his adrenaline. At this point in time, Gambit saw me get hit, so Gambit went ahead and picked him up. I am supposed to leave him alone because if he tries to drive on Gambit, this is actually what we want. But he can't, Gambit knows that he can stay right here and he's gonna press him in between here and here, and Brute got his help all the way up to here again. You know, like I be saying, the reverse triangle, this is where we at. That's his zone right there. We should be able to support him. I try to run through, cause I'm, I'm sitting here not thinking. I'm yelling the Gambit, yo, 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 yo. He's got no stamina, you can go. But, Jay, if he's got no stamina, Gambit can guard him. So what I was supposed to do is on that one, on that one, I, I, end, up just, I end up just brain farting it up. I tried to get to him. Steam me in the corner, gave up the bucket, it is what it is. But, did we learn from it? That's what's important. We up 13 to seven, it ain't that bad of a, it ain't that bad of a deal. Long as Brute continue to get on the rim, we got nothing to worry about. Brute comes down, now look, now they starting, now look, what, what are they doing? Now they starting to do this. This dude's still playing these crazy games in the corner. Brute said, nope, can't get him. We thought we got him. We thought, we thought we had him on that one right there, right? right? But this is a good thing for me. He goes in and out, in and out. Brute catches him on one of his outs. He steams him. I get a crazy catch. So look, by the time I get, look, that ball should be gone right now. It should be gone, but they gave me a little crazy catch. So I got to get a ball to Brute. He goes down, tries to go up. I got, you know, they, they gave us, it was, that's unfortunate. That's just unfortunate right there. So now we got to play defense yet again. So now me and Gambit have already talked about it. See, see how we talked about it? Instead of, instead of blowing up, and yelling at each other, what do we do? Look, Gambit Garden open corner. This is what this is actually what we want. We want we want Gambit Garden this open corner right here because he's got this all the way up here, and then I can support him here, and then Brute can support him on the back end or whatever, and then you know I can just take first pass depending on what happens. We don't have to worry about that though because Gambit takes him, rides him to the corner. Now he got he I, we who expected him to do this on that one. But the main thing is that we didn't give this up. They said, they were thinking, well, last time he went for it and we, we switched improperly. This time, nope, I went, I went, pushed him a little bit over half court. And then I just say, okay, now, now you see, he knows he can't make that pass. I'm right here. This is not getting in here. So, you know, it is what it is, bam. He goes out, goes in. He still gets on the rim, man. You can't get mad at stuff like that because you're playing sound defense. 
Um, like I said, I made a lot of mistakes this game, but our defense really saved us, and I'm not scared to, to edit it out and do any of that. Right here, Brute, a little inside out. Finally got him, trades up, splash down. This dude has been playing this game. He's been playing this dangerous game the entirety of this game. And finally, Brute drove right at him, and y'all know how this game goes. He's stuck inside because in the game, in the game's eyes, he's attached to Brute right here. This dude is out of the play, and this dude right here, he's on game, but ain't nothing he can do. He finally got it. Brute hit him. Steamer! Trays up! Splash down. We get the bucket. I mean, I, I love good basketball like that because, like I said, and you would think he would learn his lesson by then, but like I said, Brute would do something, and he'll file it away, and he'll file it away, and once he files it away, he just takes note. Okay, he's a reacher. He's a this, he's a that. So you know it is what it is. Night, like next, next up, this is what they try to do. They still, they still think that the best way to get a three is the screen and roll. Me and Gambit are playing crazy sides on this right here. You see how far I am away from here? You're not getting here. Your only choice is to hit this guy up the scene and get and eat those twos. Because if you look at where we are, bro, I'm to the sideline. Now let me tell y'all why I'm to the sideline. Right there. Bro, when he hit me with that step back animation, it broke my ankle. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm out of there. So I'm out of there. We had, I'm yelling again, but yo, 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 I'm dead. And uh, he picked him up for me. He couldn't take the shot. Falls him to the rim. Bam, we there. Now, we all, only thing we got to do is get on the rim one time, two times, and we up out of here. Kicks it to the corner. Give it back to Brute. They give Brute a crazy animation. Uh, but we cool. We got to play defense again. Brute had just created this character that day too, so he couldn't even finish. He couldn't even really move like he wanted to. So uh, it was it was a tough. It was a, it wasn't even a tough day because we play good defense. But it is you know that's how you're supposed to do it. So right here, get again, push him to the sideline. I don't have to trail him. I don't have to trail him all the way down here because we see this guy running here, and Gambit is gonna be able to pick him up. I am gonna pick up whoever comes out of this corner. So a lot of times this is one where they like to run to the corner and come back out. Yep, got him. I tell him, yo, you can't come back up out of there. And so right here, I I got to keep him bracketed. I have to do a better job of keeping him bracketed. I got to stay on this shoulder and I cannot let him out of here. I don't want him to get comfortable. I want to keep forcing him in here to gambit. But I didn't do that. I let him get loose. He tries to go to the rim. But fortunately, I got a great teammate on the back end. So his guy didn't run out. Gambit jumps. You see me already on my horse, getting ready to take over him if he don't do it. He goes up, tries to pass it. He doesn't get it. Get a ball to Brute. And then I'm thinking, this is right here. I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking Brute. Like, uh, so this is what Brute is trying to do. He's, he, he runs out. What he's trying to do is come back this way. But I passed the ball too early. And like I said, this is still early days. We didn't really know how the game went. So I threw the ball right to the guy. He gets right on the rim. I'm telling him, yo, that's my bad. I thought you were running back to me. And Bruce said, I was trying to run back to you. But you know how the game do you sometimes, man. That's just how it goes. So it is what it is. Brute decides, yo, we're not even going to worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get on this rim right quick. We up 13, 18. There ain't nothing to it, man. We play, one, we play one more defensive possession, and then we should be good to go. So here we go right here. This is what I want to do right here. I got to maintain inside leverage. This part of the court should not exist. I got a great gameplay coming up for y'all, and I learned how to do this. But, but but in order to do this the right way that you want to do, straight to now one side, you got to put your defensive assist on zero, bro. If you got it on anything more than zero, anytime they make a move, you're moving. But I want to keep him here, and what I want to do is force him here so that Brute can cut him off or something like that, and we can try to do that. If he wants to try to take that too, he can, but that's not what we want. I'm doing a great job of staying in front of him. He tries to go tries to get a little fade action in. I'm here, there's nothing he can do. Gives it to Gambit. Gambit was watching my back on that one, so he knew right here, once I lost contain, he knew he couldn't turn the corner because Gambit was already heading there. You see him with his head right there. He, he gonna make a beeline right there. But, and you see he almost did, but he dotted him. And then right here, there's, there's really nothing to be done. He don't have any adrenaline. You see how slow he's dribbling? They get a shady back door off of it. It is what it is, man. Can't even get too mad at it. Hey, they got it. It is It is what it is. And like I said, remember what I told y'all at the beginning of the game? Old habits die hard. Die! Trades up! Splash down! Get off the court! Oh, as Quavo would say, get the f*** up off my s***. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, man. Them guys are actually a really good team. But like I said... Old habits die hard, and uh, you know, 
Brute just seen him right here. He's still moving back and forward in here. They expecting the rim. They expecting Brute to take the rim run. He doesn't take the rim run. Steamer! I gotta hit the shot. All you gotta do is hit the shot, man. And that's what you do. So that's really the game right there. Like I hope y'all enjoy these breakdown sessions of how we do and uh and how we how we play the game, man. Uh Mr. Green, I mean I'm green and that's a tough team right there. Ear car, eat car, and all that. They they some tough guys, man, but we actually just came out on top. Anyway, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Put LDU down in the comment section if you did enjoy it. And also make sure you like the video for your chance to win a $50 gift card and a next gen console at the end of the month. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. It's been a pleasure teaching Lockdown University. I am Professor Easy. And all lockdown university has been dismissed. Class dismissed. Guys, please.